We're done with wiring up our boxes and testing them. They're almost ready to ship. Here's one powered up, the back lights on. Let's see what's inside. This is a short tour of the inside. We can control individual sockets, turning them on individually. Socket 1 is now on, socket 1 is off. Each one of the sockets is individually controllable via the internet. I'm going to turn on socket number 8. You'll notice that the energy monitor changes its values when we turn on the light bulb and then again when we turn it off. We can turn on any socket. For example, let's turn on this one. There's number four. We can turn on number one. Let's turn it off. See how easy that is? Now that this box is all together and working and all the parts are assembled, it's hard to believe all the steps that went into making this box work. I've taken pictures along the way and I've compressed that into a short slideshow. What was days and days of work is now compressed into less than two minutes. We're using the AccuView software that came with the meter, the AccuVim 2, to pull data from it over Ethernet. You can see our current consumption here, the voltage, power consumed, and the total kilowatt hours consumed to date. If I turn on the light in one of the sockets, you can see our current consumption go up and our current power go up. Voltage didn't change much of anything. We're monitoring all this in real time. This is a LabVIEW program I wrote to test the box. We can start it up. Right now it's sitting at a local address 192.168.1.11. It's also being addressed at port 10001. If we send it uh, a little heartbeat message, it replies, we can uh, turn on a particular slot. This slot corresponds to the socket 8. Uh, we can turn it off, so on. We can set alerts, uh, kill alerts. Uh, don't worry about this error message. It just means it timed out. and. Uh, we can read the present slot. Uh, we just turned on slot 24, so if I read it, it also says that it's a 1 now. Uh, we can get the device type, uh, again, heartbeat, 